Hello guys and gals, welcome back once again to EMS today. We're going to be showing you how to install a set of BC Racing coilovers onto any 1992 to 1995 Honda Civic EG. First, let's get started in the rear since that's the easiest and fastest to do. Jack up the car, make sure to support it on some jack stands. So then we can remove the wheels so we can access two 14mm bolts from the lower control arm. The first one is where the strut meets the control arm and the second one is where the lower control arm meets the trailing arm right behind the drum. For the next step you will need to open the trunk and remove these covers from both sides so you can see the top of the strut where we need to remove two 14mm nuts. Once you're done with that, the old strut is ready to come out and get replaced by the new BC Racing coilover. With the new coilover inside, we need to tighten up the two 14mm nuts inside the trunk. If possible, try to use completely new hardware, but if not, just try to clean the old one up as much as possible. We're spraying ours with WD-40 just to make sure they go on there smoothly. Now pop the lower control arm back into place and put the bolts that go back in. You will need to find a nut for the coilover bolt so you can tighten it since the BC coilover does not come with a welded nut onto the fork. Make sure everything's nice and tight, then put your wheels back on, then move on to the front of the car. If you haven't already, make sure to jack up the front of the vehicle and make sure to sit it on some jack stands. Remove the wheels out of the way and go to the top of the control arm where the ball joint sits right on the spindle and remove the cotter pin followed by the 17mm castle nut. Now you need to get the brake lines out of the way, so take off the two 12mm bolts that hold it. On the bottom of the strut foot there is a 17mm bolt and a 17mm nut that will need to be removed to free it from the lower control arm. For the final step, remove the two 14mm nuts inside the engine bay, which should drop the whole thing down, allowing you to get the old strut off. This 14mm bolt that holds the fork to the strut is usually super tight, and we don't want to mess up the threads or the head on it, so that's why we do it outside. We're going to give it a quick clean just to help it slide in a bit smoother than when it came off. Taking this bolt off allows you to transfer the old fork onto the new one. We are now ready to put the new color back onto the car using the top 14 mm bolts to hold the coil over temporarily so you can lift the lower control arm using a floor drag so the 17 mm bolt and nut that goes to the fork can be reinstalled. Put your brake lines back on and put a new cast nut and a new cotter pin onto the top of the spindle where it connects to the upper control arm. If needed you can adjust the brake line brackets using a 5 mm allen head to loosen it and adjust to your liking. Don't forget to tie down the top 14mm nuts inside the engine bay. Now we can put the wheels back onto the car and lower it onto the ground. Hopefully this video was helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Alright, gotta go. My mom ate some spaghetti tonight.